I am going to share with you some of the latest results out of the Why We Read Wikipedia research. And uh, uh, I know I have five minutes, so I try to keep it uh, down to three minutes and then any questions you may have, I can answer in the two minutes left. Um, so let me just share. Uh, Toby, do I have more than five minutes? It actually turns out that there have been some cancellations and you do. Um, okay. So I shoot for 10 minutes then? That will take time. So. Yeah, so I think I think we're just going to, yeah, so, so <laughs> why don't you, why don't you talk to a quarter until a uh, quarter after? Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, let me just share my screen and I won't see, I think the chat anymore, but I just want to hear from you. Do you see my screen like the presentation? Yes. Okay, great. Um, okay, so why we read Wikipedia? Uh, most of you know about this uh, research. It's a research that we started in 2016. And um, basically the goal of the research was to learn about Wikipedia use cases and reader behavior across languages. Uh, the way we approached uh, this problem was that uh, we have the web request logs that capture basically the reader behavior in a very atomic level um, in our server. Um, and uh, basically, you notice better than I, the user searches something on, let's say, a website like Google, they end up coming to Wikipedia, read an article, they traverse to another article, they go back potentially outside of the Wikipedia world to a search engine, and then they come back to Wikipedia. Um, so what we did is that we used basically this window of opportunity that the user is on Wikipedia and we surfaced a survey to the user, a series of surveys over time back in 2016. And um, I think the more novel uh, part of this approach was mixing the survey results with web request logs to make sense of the use cases uh, of Wikipedia for the readers but also understanding a little bit more about the behavior of readers when they're on Wikipedia. Um, a lot of the uh, focus on um, 2016 and early 2017 was to build uh, the survey, uh, what type of questions we, we wanted to ask people. And many of you have seen it. We came up with three sets of questions. One of them would ask the user about their information need. Basically, the user would uh, be questioned. So the, the user is on an article. We pop up a quick survey widget and we ask them to help uh, help us improve Wiki Wikipedia by answering three questions. And these are the three questions the user sees. Um, I am reading this article to uh, do a quick fact um, or um, quick fact lookup, basically, uh, reading an, for an overview, or I want to basically go into an in-depth reading. And this kind of information gives us, uh, gives us insight into how deep the user is planning to engage uh, with the article or the series of articles they're reading. Uh, we asked the user whether they had prior knowledge of the topic related to the article before reading the article. And here, the user could say whether they are familiar with the topic or not familiar. And we also asked the user about their motivation. Why, what was the trigger that brought them to this article, to Wikipedia and this specific article? And uh, the user had some choices. Um, they could say uh, basically a piece of media was the motivation, meaning uh, they have watched uh, a show, uh, listened to a radio program, read a book. Um, they need to make some personal decisions. Uh, they would need to buy a book, buy a laptop, choose a travel destination. They are bored uh, and randomly exploring Wikipedia for fun. Um, the topic has come up in a conversation with a friend, with a colleague. Um, they have a work or school related project uh, due basically. Um, they want to know more about the current event. Current event can range from uh, you know, terrorist attacks to soccer games or earthquakes, uh, someone's death, anything that creates basically a sudden spike of user attention. And the last thing is basically intrinsic learning. The, the topic is important to me and I just want to learn more about it. And we left another field um, in case the user, in case we're not asking the user a kind of motivation that the user wants to communicate with us. So we ran this survey in 2016 and we had some results and uh, many of you have already seen them. I'm not going to go over those. Those were heavily focused on English Wikipedia. In 2017, um, we ran a, what we call a great grant survey. Uh, this survey was run uh, during a one week period in June 2017. Uh, I think it was June 21 to 28. 
Uh, 14 languages were involved. Um, these were Arabic, Bengali, Chinese, Dutch, English, German, Hebrew, Hindi, Hungarian, Japanese, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, and Ukrainian. Uh, the survey was run through quick survey in both mobile and desktop platform. Sampling rate varied uh, for each of these languages, depending on how much we expected to receive uh, both views or um, impressions of quick survey, but also engagement with it. Um, the, the survey was shown on article pages and to those with do not track off, um, and we collected 215, 16,000 responses uh, in total across these 14 languages. So our job uh, in the past months has been to basically dig through these uh, responses and um, try to regenerate what we did for English Wikipedia last year for these now 13 additional languages. Uh, I just pause here for a second. Is there anything um, burning questions that uh, you want to ask right now, or shall I move on? I want to see the results. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So the, the results that you'll see are going to be the results uh, from the first part of the analysis, which focuses on the, um, the survey responses, uh, the bias, uh, the part about the behavioral component, we are still working on that, but this is as of this morning. Uh, I don't show you all the languages, but I do have for all the languages. So if you have specific questions, just ask it. Uh, uh, first one is Arabic. Our sampling rate was one out of 10, and we collected close to 2,200 responses. The user that helped us with the translation and community engagement is uh, Ebot. Um, and here are the responses. Um, so starting from left, what you see is that intrinsic learning is basically the highest reported motivation for coming to Arabic Wikipedia. Um, and then with a drop, you see media and being bored or random. Um, all the other reasons uh, seem to be kind of, you have a pretty gradual um, decline and slope here. Um, intrinsic le learning seems to be a strong fa factor for Arabic Wikipedia. Uh, by the way, if you're looking at these plots for the first time, um, the blue or what you see on the left-hand side is, um, left-hand side of each of these bars is this actual survey responses. And the green is the debiased uh, survey response. You see that in most of the cases, the debiasing didn't have a huge effect. You see a little bit here in personal decision, for example. For all intents and purposes, you can focus on the green bars here. Um, the, uh, the information need is pretty much spread um, evenly. So in-depth reading, overview, and fact-checking is uh, used pretty evenly in, in this language. And the split, very similar to what we saw in English last year, uh, in 2016, is almost 50-50 uh, for Arabic speakers. Um, next. Hey, Leila. Yes. Uh, how would you characterize this, the differences, or like in general, the comparison between English and Arabic? Uh, I think a lot of folks have kind of already kind of taken in the English results, and I'm, I'm mostly curious as to kind of how Arabic is different. Right. So uh, in English, I think what we saw was uh, basically media was the highest, um, and then it was. Um, um, sorry, I hear a little bit echo. I'm not sure if somebody is trying to say something. No. Uh, so for English, we, what we saw mostly was uh, media, uh, intrinsic learning, and I believe it was conversation. Uh, I need to refresh my mind uh, from that year. Uh, so for Arabic, I think what is interesting is that intrinsic learning comes higher than everything else. For English, another difference was that the, the slope was pretty constant. You didn't have this sharp drop that you have between media and intrinsic learning. Um, what this really means, we need to look at the web request logs a little bit deeper to understand what this drop can actually mean for Arabic versus English. Uh, for now, based on these responses, there is a drop and it seems intrinsic learning is more important uh, for Arabic uh, Wikipedia users when compared with English. Okay, let's now look at German. We had 28,000 responses for uh, German Wikipedia. And here is what you see. Um, intrinsic learning, again, it is reported as uh, the, the top reason for coming to German Wikipedia. Uh, followed by media, um, this time followed by conversation. Um, the drop, I mean, the, the slope is um, much smoother here. You don't have a significant drop. Um, there is uh, 
One thing you see in German is that fact checking is uh, higher. Um, so basically, the distribution is not as spread as, let's say, Arabic or even English here um, for, for German. Um, you have a lot of fact checkers, and in depth reading is as much as we saw for English Wikipedia in, in 2016. Uh, prior knowledge seems to be pretty split uh, also for German 50 uh, 50. Uh, moving on. Um, for Spanish, we collected around 40,000 uh, responses, uh, one out of five uh, 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 page views. Um, I, I think one thing which is interesting about Spanish is that work for school uh, comes as a, as a motivation, uh, which is uh, in top three motivations, which is rare um, across other languages. There is something going on here that we need to dig in deeper. Uh, there are either uh, you know, education related programs that are being more active or whatever reason, for whatever reason, it can be that media is not, for example, as active of the source. Uh, there, there can be multiple reasons why this is happening, but uh, it's definitely different than other languages in, in this sense. Uh, fact checking overview and in depth are very similar to Arabic. They're basically spread. Uh, the distribution is pretty spread. Um, um, I'm not going to go over all 14, worry not. Uh, I'll show you a couple of more. Uh, for Hindi, uh, 3,000 uh, responses. Um, what we see here, again, intrinsic le learning is reported as uh, a significant factor for as a motivation for coming to Wikipedia, followed by conversation. These are uh, kind of both interesting. Uh, one is that learning uh, seems to be, at least in terms of self-report, is, is uh, uh, is a strong motivator. We actually don't see such a uh, sharp uh, decline from one motivation to the next, I think, in any of the other languages. Um, and the other thing that is interesting is that conversation seems to be a big factor uh, for people, uh, for initiating people to come to Wikipedia, which is uh, pretty nice. Um, users report a lot of in-depth reading, and we need to dig into a web request docs to see if this indeed is the case. So we can come back to this, but this is the highest in-depth reading reported uh, across uh, languages. Yeah, like if like, Leila, this is like insanely different from yes. everything else, which is, which is a fascinating insight. I think that the Hindi editors, I'm sure, would love to love to see this. Their readers are actually behaving the way that all the editors believe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, and it's, it's interesting, again, like we need to check um, in like web request logs and the length of articles and all that to be able to see if, if we can explain why this is happening. It can be that, for example, for fact checking, most of the information is available in English, but not in their language. So people are switching to English for that kind of content. Um, yeah, but uh, more on this, there's definitely something here. I'm at, uh, I'm at, sorry, go ahead. I'm actually gonna Nurzar just walked in. Dude, this is <laughs> this is media. Uh, ah yeah, yes. Have uh, you seen this? Is fascinating. That's again. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, not that you should. I was gonna say to, like, instantly re tell us what represented like all eight hundred million. I have. I have unsolicited for you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. That, I think it's fascinating that that like that split is so. It, it, Right, and I think what would be really interesting is also, for example, to see if uh, intrinsic learning behavior so uh, is actually similar to the, to English or not, right? Because we 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 can characterize the what it means for a user to be in, an intrinsic learner. And it would be interesting to see if that's different between English and Hindi, or let's say Japanese and Hindi. Uh, something is going on here. It can be that either people uh, feel like the self-report. Is um, is the layer that causes this gap, or it can be that indeed uh, that's a very strong factor for coming uh, to Wikipedia, which would be really good to know because that means a lot of emphasis. That can mean that a lot of emphasis should be put on the learning component of Wikipedia as opposed to other factors in Hindi. Or we need to advertise that we're a fact checking <laughs> source better. Right. How you want? <laughs> Depending yeah. on how you want to manipulate that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Okay, last but not least, and I'm going over time, is Japanese. Uh, for Japanese, um, I think what is uh, one thing which is interesting is that bored and random um, comes as, as top three. I think for two languages this happens, one of them is Japanese. And uh, actually, the, the report uh, is, is pretty high. It's uh, 25, uh, well, let's see, 22, 23% come for this reason uh, to Japanese Wikipedia. 
um, the spread across overview in depth and fact checking is kind of, uh, I would say it's the same. These differences are not really huge. Um, yeah, and um, I have some right up here just to say that media conversations and intrinsic learning seem to be kind of the main motivations, uh, the top three motivations for people coming to Wikipedia across the languages that we looked at. There are some uh, differences uh, where Spanish and Romanian, it seems work and work and school related projects kind of substitute one of the three top motivations. In Japanese, board and random uh, exploration does that, and in Ukrainian, the, the events basically replace one of the top three motivations. But overall, it is interesting to see that uh, these uh, 14 languages are not so different from each other in terms of the motivations, except for the few that we need to understand better. And I think that's all uh, on our end. Uh, yeah, I'll stop here. Yeah, fascinating stuff. All right, so um, can you just like tell us another bit on the next steps in terms of uh, yeah, how you're going to, because with the English, I know we dug deeper on a few dimensions, I'm curious. Yeah, so at least in the six or seven languages where we have enough data, we want to dig deeper and uh, basically connect the responses to the web request logs for the survey participants and uh, be able to characterize each of these groups in these languages and then compare them with each other to see if there are differences in terms of how we characterize users for these specific buckets in different languages. If they're not, then that's the fantastic news because it really simplifies uh, the way we think about readers across languages. If we can say that these users are actually the same in, across these languages. Uh, if it's not, then obviously it's more complicated and we need to look at the nuances as we develop or think about developing like certain products uh, for different um, uh, users um, in different languages. And the next big thing that I think for this research in general is to add demographics component uh, uh, to this research. So we are interested to understand if this kind of line of the research that we do, would the results be different if you have information about the gender of the user, the ethnicity of the user, the socioeconomic status, the education of the user, like how would these results change? Because that can have implications on how we surface content and the type of content that we create across projects and languages. I think, like on, on our end, it's like, how do we use this information to make our product better? Like the, the fact that, you know, bias or whatever side that you would be is so different from people coming to the Indian Wikipedia, so different from people coming to the English Wikipedia, at least that's what they say they are. Like, what do we what do we do with this? Do we give this information to the editors and be like, hey, this is what your readers want? Like, I don't know, but I think this is something that you know, we have to start, we have to start thinking about. Like I sort of thinking of all of our projects as being sort of like this sort of one giant plane of, you know, knowledge or whatever isn't certainly not accurate. We have to, we have to start figuring out what we, what we do with, with information about various segments. Yeah, and whenever you want to brainstorm about those and you find our input kind of more directly useful, please pull us in uh, because we can't think that far without your help. So 